tuned in to this special Father's Day edition of the Alex Jones Show. We have been following very closely for several years Disease X that the UN World Health Organization has predicted could wipe out humanity. Now, there's a spectrum of Disease X type pathogens in the virus family that they would call a Disease X mainly the bird flu variety, the mouse pox variety, and also what would be known as airborne Ebola. I have four children. I love my family. I have studied history in great detail. And I understand how big a threat this is. Now, Zero Hedge has an incredibly important article that's a boil down from the World Health Organization and just mentions and blurbs out of the Chinese news that they're basically keeping quiet. And the story is also posted in full Infowars.com that a new strain of bird flu that kills 40% of humans that contracted it just showed up this week and has already killed 100 people plus. And that's old news. Previous bird flus that they thought were incredibly deadly only killed 1%, then 3%, then 6%. The last one was 9%. Remember decades ago when they were worried it might go airborne? We have a graphic from the UN showing that it is now airborne. This is so incredible, ladies and gentlemen, because this should be the top news story in the world. Regular flu, it's estimated, even with compromised immune systems, might kill 1% of people that come in contact with it. The influenza plague that hit during World War I was estimated to kill around 10% of people that came in contact with it. And the estimates are 100 to 150 million to 200 million because good records weren't kept. It's at least 100 million people with a flu that killed around 11%. This kills 38 0.3%, according to the UN, they've rounded up to 40%. And it's exponentially getting more deadly in these giant factory farms in China. And if you look at the graphic and put it back on there from the UN, you can get it from the air, from fowl, uh, ducks, chicken, manure, feces, or you can get it from particula and the virus in the air through your nose or by touching it to your mouth, uh, it's extremely airborne, eyes, nose, or mouth. So understand something, ladies and gentlemen, there's all sorts of new viral strains that are drug-resistant, bacterial strains. We know one of the biggest causes of death in the world now is flesh-eating bacteria. There's hundreds of different types that are uh, basically immune to antibiotics. Uh, I had three family members die in a month a few years ago of a drug-resistant pneumonia virus. And so there is no treatment for this. I've got the detailed report on Infowars.com. This is from the UN themselves. This is sensationally bad. Now, remember about a decade ago, our own Pentagon and the CDC put out the blueprint via the UN for the mousepox that kills 99% of mice that come in contact with it. And with a few genetic changes, it can be made to be airborne for humans and kill 99% of humans. It is seen as the most deadly potential because it's already at 99%. I'm gonna explain that again. 99% of people that get a human variant mouse pox die a horrible death. This is 38.3. This is an emergency, folks, because if we don't treat it like an emergency, no one will know what's going on, and then it's just something in the background and we don't get ready for it. Now, here's the big news. Let's put up uh, AP, Reuters, The Sun, others reported this. We first reported this uh, a decade ago, but even this year, global pandemic a mystery disease could wipe out humanity, top scientists warn. I'm not going to go that far in my headline. I'm saying if it kills 40% of people, and we're 7.5 billion people currently, that's over 3 billion people. It's upwards of 4 billion. So 3 to 4 billion people would die if the entire planet contracted this. And look at the graph, 1%, 3%, 6%. And, and suddenly, 
9%. It makes a leap to 38.3. 38.3. Now, what did I and Dr. Group and others, and Dr. Blaylock, who's a brain surgeon, what have we talked about in the past here on the air? That the globalists have said in their white papers, in their own UN documents, that they want to create race-specific bioweapons and other systems to depopulate the planet. They teach that everywhere, that the world without humans would be great, we need to depopulate, China's been the center of one-child policy, all of this, and that it would be good to call the planet. We've seen Ian Fleming, MI6, write books about Moonraker, you know, back in the 60s, and they made a movie in the 80s uh, about you know, billionaire globalists releasing bioweapons to reduce population. That's art imitating life. You got Oprah Winfrey and Ted Turner and all the globalists meeting in, in the news saying, I want to forcibly reduce world population. The fact that this is jumping and mutating so quick, and the fact that they just came out earlier this year and said, we believe disease X is about to show up and start wiping people out, get ready for it. And the fact that all over the world, they're beefing up border security in Europe and other areas. A lot of this from my sources is that they're preparing to release bioweapons claim that they're naturally uh, occurring and then use that as the cover for civil emergency, societal control, crackdowns on free speech. Obama put the internet kill switch in five years ago. And when he got confronted by it by Congress, he said, well, it's in case the bird flu or SARS gets out. Just type that in. CDC says internet kill switch is in case bird flu or SARS breaks out and they have to control panic and direct every website in the U.S. to one government announcement. That's Associated Press. Look it up. So now we see this coming into focus. They say, oh, we think disease X is about to show up. And you just saw Bill Maher a week ago say he hopes there's a total stock market crash, not a recession, a total stock market crash to stop America and Trump. Now, that's a globalist minion. It says, crash the economy, crash the stock market. There's the quotes. Watch the video. See it for yourself. You missed it. Imagine. Imagine, ladies and gentlemen, what they will be able to pull off during a global meltdown, a global collapse, and during billions of people dying, millions of people dying, it'll look like a zombie invasion. Humans, after 10 days of no food or water, act like totally insane people and murder and kill and just eat raw flesh off the ground. Look at Venezuela. And they're training the military for mass waves of zombie attacks so that people don't ask, well, wait, you're training to machine gun whole crowds of people. They go, oh, it's just a, it's just a game. We're training to mow down zombies. No. Giant hordes of out-of-control people act like this. And we've been designated as zombies for the zombie apocalypse. And World War Z, the bio plague breaks out in China. They've been pre-programming you so you accept this and follow their Hollywood directives when it all happens. I'm not saying it's about to happen imminently. But they're certainly gearing up for it and pushing it. And you got Dick Cheney talking about in Rebuilding America's Defenses in 2000 in PNAC about using bioweapons to wipe out certain racial groups. Believe me, this is going on. This is historical fact. So I don't need all the little cutesy podcasters out there saying, oh, Jones has gone too far again. You go along with the system out there because you don't want to be censored and blocked. A sign of my success and how real I am is that we are censored and blocked and every thinking person knows it. So I just want to survive. I want my kids to survive. I want you to survive. We have a global elite with a history of saying they want to release bioweapons to reduce our population. Now we got stuff showing up that's evolving and mutating so fast, it's tailor-made to be manipulated and, and a bioweapon. And you've got the globalists willing to have a global depression to stop Trump and the resurgence of nationalism and capitalism to block their global government that they could do anything and we looked at every angle and believe a bioweapon release could be the thing they'd release to bring in a world government to counter a global problem and the UN has said that a global pandemic is the only thing that may save their world government look it all up ignore me at your own peril I'm the producer of Endgame that documents everything word for word what Elon Musk is now saying 11 years later if you want to survive and you want to beat these globalists and these modern day Nazis, you better listen. If you love your kids, you better listen. And I'm talking to Joe Rogan and everybody else. You don't listen to me. I hope you got a big bunker or an offshore base because the plague's coming. It may not be this year, but this is the globalist plan. I'm Alex Jones. You have been warned. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Fuel your
your body with Carnivore, the new digestive enzyme product by InfoWars Life. Digestive enzymes assist in the digestion process and increase the bioavailability of nutrients by breaking down foods into easily absorbable components. They also help prevent discomfort from indigestion caused by fermentation of undigested food particles in the gut. Digestive enzyme production declines as we age. Carnivore is filled with digestive enzymes like those naturally present in the body. Enjoy the full potential of protein-rich foods again. You can eat protein-heavy foods now while minimizing the later indigestion and discomfort commonly associated with high meat diets. Just one pill with every high-protein meal helps increase the bioavailability and absorption of amino acids, the building blocks to your muscles. Carnivore also contains digestive enzymes to help digest fats and carbohydrates so you can fully digest all types of meals. Don't let a meal go to waste. Use Carnivore by InfoWars Life. Head to InfoWarsLife.com and secure your bottle now. That's InfoWarsLife.com.